All right, I'm here making traps. And I'm actually gonna be taking these out. I'm actually gonna be spray painting them black except for the bottom, right? Um, so you can look in there, but I want them all black so they kind of blend in and don't look like, like floating pet bottles in the trees. Looks a little bit more better. And I've got little umbrellas that I'm on here on, and you can see the entrance is right there that I push in to create kind of a barrier for them to fly out. So, and you're gonna fill just the bottom of this with fluids. Really simple design. You're gonna cut like a V shape. You're gonna then perforate the, in, uh, the, uh, the pieces and put them in. Um, you're gonna put a hole for a piece of string to go through, right? So hang like a Christmas tree ornament. And basically, you cut out these plastic and I actually wondering if I should make the grippy on top. I'm making the grippy on the bottom so that way the hornet can actually grip onto this, fly up under, you know. I'm not sure if they'll land on this. It's kind of slippery. I'm not sure. That's my only thing that I'm apprehensive about. And the only other weak point is I believe um, these um, what's it called? Staples, I think are gonna rust. So I'm thinking about putting a thing of tape on, on it um, or maybe even some grease on them to stop them from rusting. Rust, rusting. So, but apart from that, I like it. And pieces I, I'm using, I'm using this old pipe, well not old pipe, tin, and using that as a stencil, right? So I can get 15 out on this sheet. So basically I can make 30 of these and get them up. And then I'll do a video on, on kind of the, the, uh, the hornet juice for it. So they're not quite done, but that's what I'm working on right now. I'm actually leaving Friday for a gig up in the mountains. Um, there's a guy who was bitten by a giant hornet and his, his, uh, he's kind of a retiree and his spouse um, is deathly afraid of them. And you know, if you're living in the mountains of Japan, you're gonna have hornets. So I'm gonna create kind of like a protective, I'm gonna search for hornets. If there are hornets, I'm gonna hunt them out and dig them out and I'm gonna make a video of the trip. And I'm gonna put up um, 15, well, potentially 30 now. I didn't know how many I can make. Uh, pet bottles. The pet bottles, these are called pet bottles. These are empty plastic bottles in Japan are called pet bottles. I don't know why they're called pet, but actually I got these for free. You just go to a recycle center and just dish them, you know, pull them out. Uh, the problem I have is that they don't, usually they take the caps off, so they didn't have caps. So I had to go and then go to a convenience store and find caps. Um, so, these are very, very inexpensive to make. The really only cost I have is, you know, obviously buying this plastic. Um, and I had to buy a staple gun, which I should have got for a dollar. But this, I think I spent like six dollars for this. this. Is one of those things. You always go to a hundred yen store. I bought this at a, at a, and it's at a kind of like a. It's called Komori, but it's it's a, you know, it's like a Home Depot type place. And it's shitty. Look at that. It's shitty, shitty, shitty. Um, really cheap. So, and um, yeah. So let me get working on these. Yeah, before I leave, let's just talk about why hornet traps. Why do you need them? Well, you really want to put them up in the spring. Um, around um, April. I think end of April. Get them up in the end of April. And the reason why is this. Is that the... The, the emerging queens are coming out really hungry, they're starving, and ultimately you have a good chance of catching and killing the queen. If you catch and kill the queen, then you collapse the hive. I'm putting them out now um, because the queens leaving the nest, which is this time of year, too, have a chance of catching them because they're hungry and they're going to want to eat. and They're like, oh, here's I can smell that honey. And... I'm going to make a combination of wine and honey and some fruits and, um, you know, and let it ferment. They'll make this amazing smell of honey and stuff and the, be attracted to it. So, um, and then they go in there and they die and they don't make nests next year. So the fall and the spring are the two times. And I'm designing this in such a way that uh, I'm going to leave him a bunch of the juice and where, you know, and, and when he sees these, he can just fill it up. Or I could just show up in the springtime and they're already set up, add maybe some more, and um, you know, and they're good to go. 
So really simple design, effective, should last, and um, yeah, should uh, help eliminate uh, hornets.